What's up guys, we're back with another sort of epic video. PSA is back? Sort of? If you guys don't remember, PSA shut down several months ago, but they didn't shut down every service. They shut down most of their services, but they left the Super Express, the $300 service, so one card, you grade it for $300. Then they have everything past that, like $500 service, $1,000 service, and most of you guys are thinking, who even uses these services? Most of them are used because the card's value is so high, they have to grade it for that much. So if you grade like a million dollar card, you have to spend thousands of dollars to grade it rather than bulk where you can spend it for 20. You can't do that. Basically, they closed everything under $300 because all the stuff below 300, like Express, there's the bulk, there's the regular economy, all that stuff is super backlogged. It was crazy. They were like way behind. And they gave us an announcement later that they actually caught up logging all of those orders. By logging, I mean they put them in the system. They have not actually graded all those. There's still, you know, millions of cards there. But they said July 1st that we will have an update. And yesterday was July 1st and we got an update. So if you guys got an email from PSA, if you guys are PSA members, I'm not sure if you get one if you're not PSA members. They sent out an email from the president. The PSA president sent out an email saying July 1st is here. Yeah, so it's been like three months, two and a half months, whatever it is. We've been waiting. We want to be able to grade cards for less than $300 each. And as stated on March 30th, so yeah, March 30th, that's when it was. We are reintroducing service levels on a tiered approach. Not all service levels will be coming back. I'm pretty sure, I'm going to have to check, but I don't think they said that it was going to be a tiered approach. Why now? We're reintroducing service levels on a tiered approach. What does that mean? That means they're going to start with the top express level. Then they'll bring back the regular. Then they'll bring back economy. Then they'll bring back bulk. So the cheat stuff, not going to be back for quite a while. After customer surveying, data analysis, and much consideration, we're going to be even more conservative than we anticipated in March. Oh, conservative. What does that mean? Today, express is back at $200 and available on the PSA online submission center this is the biggest news express was 75 dollars for years 75 dollars i think it was originally like a seven day turnaround time then they made it 75 dollars for a 20 day turnaround time then they made it 150 dollars for a 20 day turnaround time i think they did that like a month or two before they suspended so maybe january or february they did that and now they're back at 200 dollars. same exact service 200 dollars. so that is not too exciting, but that's that's what we got. We do have Express back, so there's a different option. You don't have to pay 300. You can pay 200. So yeah, there's that. Our objective with introducing Express at this new price is to manage demand while continuing to allocate the lion's share of our capacity to the existing backlog. So the reason is we don't want to get too many new cards because they know as soon as they open up a cheap service, millions of cards are coming. They already have millions of cards. They know millions of cards are coming after that. If they release bulk right now, there would be millions going toward it. So now they're like, you know what? Look, if people are gonna pay for it, why are we charging 150 if we can get 200 from them? Because they're still gonna send it in. So they raised it up 50 more dollars. I think it makes sense from a business standpoint. It sucks for us, it absolutely sucks. I understand why they're doing it because if they're already way behind, why not charge more money to do the same work? And even if it cuts off some people, they're still making more money, so it makes sense. <clears throat> they have some more stuff here like let's look in a little more detail during the past three months we devoted 90 percent of our available cap capacity to the backlog that basically they had a huge backlog they cut off all these services so 98 percent of the time they were able to catch that up a little bit make it more manageable for them this demand management that's what i just said coupled with 64 percent increase in capacity since the beginning of the year that's a lot is a good illustration of the approach we are taking to reduce the backlog even the reintroduction of the express 90 percent of our available capacity will be applied to backlog. So the Express, only 10% is gonna be going toward those new Express orders that are sent in. We are making progress. Over the past three months, we've eliminated the delays in order entry and made great strides on our impacted service levels. Happy to report that all orders on the Express service level and the retail economy level have been completed. Uh, that's good. Economy will remain suspended as we have reallocated that capacity to other service lines. On the receiving front, all new submissions will be entered into the system without delay. So that's good. So if you send something in, it's going to get entered right away. You're not going to have to wait like weeks because they were like a month or two behind. Like you would send something in and it would not even get registered in the system for a month. And then they would start kind of the count for how long it's been there. Okay, we're going to skip the, the memberships. If you do have a membership, basically, I think they extended it even longer because you haven't been able to use it. So that's, that's a good thing. 
Packs and ticket updates. This is a little interesting. If you guys are looking to grade packs, the spike in demand for grading services and not just trading cards, submission of packs and tickets are on the rise and we must slow the demand here too before the backlog gets excessive. As of today, we are suspending the economy and regular service levels for both tickets and packs. So yeah, they're back with an, ex an express service level that costs 50 more dollars and they're also not back for packs. So you can't grade packs anymore. They're suspending it. So they must have a big, big, uh, big demand there as well, which is unfortunate. All right, this last thing we're going to look at, they have hiring, hire continues at record pace. They've been hiring new talent to grade our cards, which is great at a phenomenal pace. It's a business. I'm sure it takes a lot, you know, to actually hire a bunch of new people. Like they need hundreds of new people. So it's going to take a while. We've grown our team in every department, including grading operations, quality insurance, assurance. There we go. Engineering, product management, and customer service. And we are still not even close to being done. That's good news. The more people, the faster they can grade, the faster they can get rid of the demand or they can uh, keep up with the demand. That's going to be pretty awesome. So that's pretty much everything that they have to say here. That's pretty much the update. So we waited three months. If you've been waiting to grade your cards, you're like, okay, $300 is too much for me. I'm going to wait till the $20 uh, tier comes back. It's going to be a while, guys. I'm guessing not even this year will we get the bulk service level back. So now you're going to have to reconsider. Is it worth holding these cards to grade? Should I sell them now? Should I keep them in my collection raw? Should I send them Super Express? By the way, if your card is only worth like $300, don't send it Super Express. Unless it's an extremely rare card, you probably shouldn't send it $300. And if you do, there's a great chance it gets a 9. You guys have seen my grades recently. I haven't hit a 10 in the last three subs. It's only been one card each but everyone's been eight or nine. We have not hit a 10. So look at that PSA nine price before you decide to send it in. So if you send something at $300 at $300 and a PSA nine is worth $400, you just lost $200 when you sent that in, if it gets a nine. And there's a big chance it gets a nine. So keep that in mind. Also, I wanted to mention, not only the Express has gone up to 200. They haven't actually opened these other levels yet, but if you look on this, I'm gonna pop up the screenshot. The regular service is not $75 anymore, which used to be 50, I think. It was 20 way back, and then they made it 50, 75. It says, it's marked out, but it says $100 now. So when they bring that back, it's gonna be 100 bucks. Mark that down, it's not gonna be 75 anymore. So if you're waiting for those old prices, just, just quit waiting, it's gonna be more expensive. Economy is also up at $50. I think that one was 20, so keep that in mind. Those are gonna be higher. And if you think that they're going to lower their price, I hate to break it to you guys, that's not going to happen unless something insane happens, like people just quit grading. And that's not going to happen. People aren't going to quit grading. As long as there's value back for grading your cards, they're not going to quit. So th these are the new prices. Just go ahead and lock that in. What do I think about all this? What do I think about it? So I was expecting it to only be Express. I was expecting that, to be honest. I didn't think that we'd get the regular or the bulk or the especially economy that one's been closed for forever they closed that one even before they did the other ones i wasn't too disappointed with that i wish they would have brought everything back i understand why they don't though it we don't want them to get way far behind again if they can get to a point where they won't get behind this will be great for everyone i think that's a good thing as for the price increases i totally understand why they're doing it i get that they have so much demand there's no reason not to charge more for them they're going to make more money it does stink. It really stinks that we're going to have to pay more to get the same exact service that we waited three months for. I'm still kicking myself for not sending those like 50, 100 cards I had ready to go express at 150 right before they close. And I procrastinated. And guess what? Now I'm going to have to pay 200 each. If I even want to do that, do I want to spend 200? Do I want to just go to Super Express? Because $300 for way faster service. I can tell you guys, my Dark Magician and my Ejection Fairy Lily I pulled with Leonhardt are almost back already. So that's how fast that is. Express is not that fast. It's usually like two months. So I don't know. I'm, I'm, I don't know. Am I going to even grade at 200? Am I going to do 300? If I even grade, I might do 300. I'm not sure. I don't know. Let me know how you guys feel in the comments about this. It's definitely interesting. I know a lot of people are disappointed. They're angry about the price increase. They're upset they can't do bulk. It is kind of disappointing, but I think there are positives that they're hiring new people and that, that's going to be pretty exciting when they're caught up with everything. We can send in and get stuff back in a couple of weeks and uh, it's just going to cost more, unfortunately. But if you are getting value, if you're sending the right cards, you should still get your value out of it and it's still a good service to use. Ah, <sighs> Yeah. I'm a little disappointed. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm a little disappointed in it. But maybe I can do uh, some express level services and you guys can see a PSA return soon. There will be one, not this week, but like next week, I guess. You guys will see this on Friday. So next week, you're going to see Dark Magician injecting Fairy Lily back, assuming they get here 
Please mail, don't lose them. That's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to like the video, subscribe. We're almost at 100,000. I appreciate all you guys who subscribed and who have been here for a long time, especially. And that's it for this video. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Shining Abyss. Ooh, the Revival Jam. Oh, and oh!